Okay, let's start talking about solving inequalities. We're going to break this up into two different parts. So at the end of this lesson today, you're going to be able to solve and graph inequalities. First of all, let's do a little warm up on inequalities. So pause the video and then state whether the inequality is true or false. 5 is less than 12, but it's not less than negative 12. And 5 could be equal to, it's greater than or equal to, and it is equal to, so that is true. Okay, we've got some key concepts for writing and graphing inequalities. So I want you to pause and I want you to uh, write down these key concepts and then we'll continue on in just a moment. Okay, now that you have that done, we're going to graph uh, is greater than. So notice it doesn't say or equal to, so we have an open circle and then we continue to the right. This is greater than or equal to, so we have a closed circle and it also goes to the right. X is less than, there is no equal to, so it's an open circle, and it goes to the left, it's less than four. And this one has an or equal to, so it's a closed circle, and it is less than. So we're to write an inequality that represents the sentence. The product, so what operation are we performing? Yes, we're multiplying the product of 12 and a number. So let's use n to represent number, or we could use x to represent a number. The product of 12 and a number is less than 6. So 12 times x is less than 6, or 12n could be less than 6. The sum, so that's the important part of this one, we, what operation? We are adding the sum of a number and two, okay, is no less than, okay. So it's not going to be less than nine, is it? So it, that means it's going to be greater than or equal to. If it's no less than nine, the product of nine and a number, then it's greater than or equal to. Very good. Solve each, each inequality and graph the solution. So what do we need to do to begin solving this inequality? Well, we're going to add 8 to both sides and then divide both sides by 3. So x is greater than 3. So if this is, represents 3, it's an open circle because it's greater than, not greater than or equal to. And it's greater than, so we go to the right. Very good. How about starting to solve this one? Yes, we're going to subtract 5v from both sides. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. I hope you remember this from Algebra 1. But we, whenever we multiply or divide by a negative number, we flip our sign. So v is greater than or equal to negative 9. It's, or equal to, so it's a closed circle, and greater than. Very good. How about 7 minus x is greater than or equal to 24? Of course, we're going to start by subtracting 7 from both sides, but we need to solve for x, not a negative x, so we're going to divide both sides by negative 1. Because we're dividing by a negative number, we flip our sign. So right here, we'll put a negative 17, and, x, and it's or equal to and less than. So closed circle, less than. We're going to use the distributive property here to multiply the two, distribute it across the parentheses. We've got some like terms we can take care of next. Then we need to get rid of the 1, so we're going to undo the positive 1 by subtracting 1 from both sides. Divide both sides by 2. So it's not a negative 2, so our sign stays the same. So we're at a 10, and because it's just less than, it's an open circle, and we go less than. Very good. Is the inequality always, sometimes, or never true? Well, let's find out. Let's start by solving this one. So let's distribute the negative 2 across the parentheses. Now let's start solving. If we add 6x to both sides, we end up with negative 2 is greater than 7. Is negative 2 ever greater than 7? It is never greater than 7. So this inequality will never be true. Okay, let's start solving this one. We've got parentheses. We can use the distributive property. 
So 10x minus 15 minus 7 is less than or equal to 3x plus 8. Have some like terms here we can take care of. So 10x minus 7x is 3x. So let's subtract 3x from both sides. Is negative 15 less than or equal to 8? Always. So this one will always be true. And finally, let's look at this one. Again, we use the distributive property. So we have 12x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 3x plus 12. If we subtract 3x from both sides, add 6 to both sides. Now divide both sides by 9. x greater than 2. Is x always greater than 2? Sometimes, but if x is equal to 1, it won't be greater than 2. So the answer to that one is sometimes. Very good. You're ready to begin working on the assignment today.